This is the first in a series of short tutorials about using character and paragraph styles within Word. In this first tutorial I want to share with you the importance of using character and paragraph styles. Um, and to do this I'll do the opposite for a moment, which is to apply some local formatting. So for instance, I want to make some of these words stand out by making them italic. So I'm going to select and click the I button. You can see I'm just selecting the word and uh, clicking on the I button. I could be uh, selecting the word and hitting control and I as well, but all of these are ways to apply local formatting. Now that's fine as far as it goes, but imagine now that I'm a typesetter preparing this document for um, professional layout. Um, I get it to this stage and I take it to my boss and I say, you know, what do you think? And she says, well, it's fine as far as it goes, but how about we make all of all the instances of the italicized words uh, in a different font as well to, um, to add some visual interest? Um, so as a dutiful typesetter, I go back and I have to select each instance of the italicized font, change it to something more suitable. So uh, select that and change it manually to Arial, select that change it manually to Arial and you know it takes a fair amount of time. Um, imagine if this was a 110,000 word document, um, that would be a real job of work. So um, I've selected all of these uh, these words and I've changed them and I take them back to my boss and she says yeah, yeah you know what I think I preferred it the way it was before. So you resist the urge to throttle her and you have to go back through the document and change all of these words back um, manually, and I can't even remember what the oh, Times New Roman, uh, back manually to um, the previous uh, font, which is here somewhere. Oh, what a laborious manual process this is. Uh, select and click, select and click, select and click. And again, if this was a novel length document, you would be here for a week and a half doing this. Um, Compare that now to uh, to using paragraph and character styles. Um, so the same deal. Let's uh, select um, a word to be changed to italic. But rather than clicking on the italic button, let's now open up the styles menu um, and find uh, a suitable style. Now there's a predefined style here called italic, um, and if I click on it, it does the same exactly the same thing as local formatting um, to the I. Um, but what we're doing is applying a rule to these uh, characters that are selected. Um, and we'll just go through and we'll select some of these and apply the italic style. So it takes just about the same amount of time. Um, but the real difference is when we, in our imaginary role as a typesetter, take this to our boss um, and she says, yeah, it's okay, but I'd really like it if the italicized words were now red. Um, now, rather than doing what we did previously, which was to go through each instance of the italicized word um, and change it manually to red, which we've seen takes a long time, what we can do instead is click on the italic button, uh, the italic character style button, uh, click on modify, make a single change, I'm going to make it this word red, and you can see that every instance of the character style has been updated. Um, this really comes into its own when uh, we go back to our boss, who of course takes one look and says, oh, you know what, I preferred it the way it was before. Um, and again, we can just go back to the italic style, and click on modify, change it back to how it was, and hey presto, it's all uh, updated in one go. So I hope that starts to illustrate why um, using character and paragraph styles is important. In the next tutorial, we'll take a look at exactly how you use them.